What's going on guys, it's Boz here and today I'm back for another Shisha review. Today we're going to be reviewing Tangier's Noir Welsh Cream. Now, when I first saw this, I was on Instagram and I was just creeping on some people's <laughs> Instagram accounts and uh, just, you know, just looking on, you know, hookah accounts and whatever and the, I saw this flavor and my first thought was, wow, that's going to be really good. Uh, just this, just the name itself, Welsh Cream, sounds really, really, really good and really, really satisfying. Like, whenever you smoke it, it would be really satisfying. Um, so I have it right here. Welsh Cream, Noir Tangiers. So, whenever I first smelled this, what it smelled like to me was like, um, like, like a, like a butterscotch. And, uh, it, it smells really good. It smells just like butterscotch in a way, but... It also smells like it has like some form of cream in it, like like a whipping, like whipped cream or uh, like like you know creamer that you put into your coffee, you know stuff like that. Um, it, it smells really good. Obviously, Tangiers, it's dark, you know, really finely cut. So I, I my first impression was this is going to be really 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 good, and I, when I started smoking it. I kind of thought to myself, well, this is really weird. It's it's really, really, really strange. And I looked into Welsh cream a little bit more because I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Uh, uh, I wasn't a hundred percent sure. No, I wasn't exactly sure what Welsh cream was. Um, whenever I looked it up, I saw a lot of liqueur. So I'm assuming it's a, it's a type of liqueur or whatever made in Europe. I, most of it is, from what I saw, is made in Europe. I didn't see anything from the United States or anything like that. Um, but whenever I smoked it for the first time, it was very, very, very weird. I've never smoked anything that's ever tasted like this. It was, it was something new, which was, which kind of made me go, "Whoa, what is this?" And it, it tastes, it doesn't taste like it smells. I wasn't. I, I don't want to say that I was disappointed with the flavor, but it's not one. Of, it's not my most favorite Tangiers flavor. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. Uh, it, it's very flavorful. It's this is a Tangiers flavor that's actually kind of in your face, which was weird for me because I'm used to Tangiers. I mean, Tangiers hits pretty hard, but this is this flavor was a flavor that was very much in my face, and it tasted sort of like. Like I said earlier, creamer that you would put in your coffee, and it, it's it's good for a cold day. If you want a nice smoke on a cold day, this is a good flavor, especially for this time of year. It's Christmas time, and uh, this is a pretty good flavor for the time of year. So I'm going to take a couple pulls, and then I'll talk about it a little bit more. I'll take one pull, actually. Um... So, I'm smoking out of my KM Cafe with a BR made bowl and a Cloud Lotus on top. Actually, I'm going to take the lid off because it was a little bit harsh. And a Thunder Hose Dark. This is the hose you guys will typically see me use in my reviews. Um, and I have a diffuser on, so. Yeah, so the flavor is definitely, definitely, definitely a strange one. At first, I really, really couldn't pinpoint it. And then after I looked it up, I realized, okay, I, I get it a little bit more. It, it definitely tastes like it's it's some sort of thick cream that you put either in your coffee or I've seen you know people put it in their tea or some kind of heavy whipping cream that you would bake with. Um, all in all, it's, it's a decent flavor. It's not the best flavor. It's not my favorite, but it's still really good. And if you guys like, you know, super in your face stuff, or you like the, the really odd flavors, I guess you could say, this is definitely one that you should pick up. It's, uh, it's definitely really, really, really strange. It's, <laughs> I can't really describe it. It's so hard to describe because there's nothing like it. Like, uh, you know, there's the different types of sex on the beach from like Starbuzz, Fumari, uh, Hayes released one that's kind of like a sex on the beach. You know, cer certain companies have like their different takes on different flavors like watermelon, what all the different fruits. This one is really, really, really 
it's it, there's nothing like it. That's I know I keep saying that, but there's nothing like it on the market, at least from what I know. Um, so yeah, if, it's I'm gonna have to give this one like a six out of ten. Six out of ten because it's weird and it's not the best flavor in my opinion. Other people might like it though. So if you guys want to pick this up, you can get this from Five Star like I always say in my videos, I always recommend them because they are the best. They are my favorite. I love them to death. Um, Noir, I think it's $15 for 250 grams. So, yeah. That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and maybe even a comment. Also, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. So I'm going to take a couple more pulls for you guys, and that will be it for me. I love how fast this ca this cafe purges. It's like bam. Get out of my way, smoke. <coughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Boz. I will see all your sexy ass faces later.